Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In this episode of Luminar 2018 Tips and Tricks, I'm going to demonstrate how to add sun rays to your image. I have this image here, and you can see it's got the sun in it. Well, I'd like to add some sun rays to it. So I'm going to go over to Add Filters, and then down under the Creative category are Sun Rays. We'll just click on that. And you could see that it immediately added sun rays to the wrong area. <laughs> I'm going to close down the filter catalog so we have a little more room. Typically it will. It will just add the sun rays over towards the top left hand corner somewhere. But they're very easy to reposition. There's a couple ways you could do it. You could just come over here with the X and Y slider. And the X slider will move it in a horizontal manner. And the Y slider moves it to a vertical manner. So you could just kind of use those two sliders to move the sun rays where you want them on your image. The easier way, at least in my opinion it's easier, is click on the Place Sun Center button. And you'll see when you do that, you'll get this little like button on the middle of the sun rays. And you could just grab it with the left mouse button and drag it where you want it. And I want it right there. And you could leave it on and then reposition it as you go, but I prefer to turn it off after I reposition it. And to do that, just click on that Place Sun Center button again, and you have it turned off. Now we have a lot of sliders to really control uh, what the sun rays look like. So there's a lot of power in this uh, filter. What we'll do first, we'll look at the amount. And as you can see, as I move that, it really just affects the intensity of the sun ray. So when it's moved to the left, you could barely see any sun rays. And as I move it to the right, they get more and more intense until I'm at 100. And you could see they're very distinguishable. So we're going to move them down just a little bit. And you could, of course, always come back and readjust anything after you do it. Now we have a different looks or different kind of way that the um, sun rays appear on your image with this look slider. And you'll see as I move it to the right, and left, it really kind of affects the overall glow of the sun rays, uh, how much um, they might affect the overall image as you move it left or right. Below that is number, and that's the actual number of rays. When you're at uh, the far right with a value of 100, you have a maximum amount of sun rays. And of course, when you move it to the left, at zero, we have a minimal amount of sun rays. So you can kind of try to make it uh, fit to your image. Below that is length. If I move it way to the left, you can see we have very short, smaller sun rays. And as I move it to the right, you can see they start to grow out. And so you could have them really dominate the entire image when you're at 100. For the rest of the demonstration, I'm just going to keep them in a little bit. The warmth are the actual sun rays, not the actual middle part where the sun is. So when I move warmth to the right, we get warmer. And when I move warmth to the left, those actual sun rays get cooler. So you could use that to kind of match the environment uh, that the sun rays are in. The sky here is relatively warm, so I'm going to want the sun rays relatively warm as well. Now, this next section is concerning the sun, which is the actual middle part of the entire sun ray uh, filter. As I move the radius to the right, I make this part in the middle larger. And as I move the radius to the left, I kind of restrict it, make it smaller. So you could kind of customize it to your image. The glow radius is this uh, glow that comes out around the image. You can see when it's um, around the middle where the sun is. As I move it to the far left, we have really no glow at all. And as I move it to the right, you can see we're getting a little bit more glow radi radiating out from where that sun center is. Then this glow amount is kind of the same thing, to tell you the truth. The glow radius just kind of brings it out further, whereas the glow amount intensifies it or diminishes it as far as the actual um, color of the glow or the glow itself. I shouldn't say color because it could be misleading. So you could, between these two sliders, 
basically. You could control what that glow looks like. Then below that is warmth. Now, before this warmth up here under the sun rays part of the filter control, controlled the actual warmth of the sun rays themselves, this warmth controls the actual sun. So when I move it to the right, it gets warmer. And when I move it to the left, it gets cooler. It's a little more difficult to see here because I have the sun rays placed right over the sun. I think if I just temporarily put it, let's say, over here, you could better see what I'm talking about. I'll turn it off for a minute. So we'll turn radius up, and then we'll have that um, warmth to the right. You could see it got kind of warm right in here. And then down, you could see it got kind of cool right in there. So you could really control the warmth of your sun rays with that. I'm going to put it back over the actual sun and I want it pretty warm because the actual sky is pretty warm now this third section down here overall this is the overall penetration of the actual sun rays as you move it to the right they pretty much glow across everything so they'll go over in front of these chairs uh, in front of the break wall everything but as I move it to the left you're kind of starting to restrict it so it's not penetrating the clouds as readily as I move it to the left. And I keep going. It's not penetrating the chairs as much. It's still penetrating the break wall and the beach down here a little bit. But then as I go to the left, it's non-existent. So penetration really controls the total overall uh, intensity of the sun rays and how much of the image they come to dominate. Randomize. Let me move that just to the right a little more. Is if you have a sun ray, this works particularly well if you have a sun ray that is obscuring something. If I had a person in the image and I have a sun ray cutting across their face, I would use penetration so it hopefully wouldn't go over their face, but maybe it still does a little bit. Well, what you could do is you could move randomize, and you could see how it just kind of moves the sun rays around. So you could hopefully not have one of the beams go across something you don't want them to go across. So you could use that to just move it around. Also, you could just try to get a more uh, pleasing pattern. In this image here, there's nothing that important in the image where a sun beam, you know, would hurt going across. But I could just move it around till I get it so it's visually appealing to me. Uh, you know, kind of more going down, I think looks nice there. So, move penetration around. I have warmth where I want it. Let's work with that glow in the middle. I think I want a little less glow. So I'm going to work with the glow radius and glow amount sliders in the sun section to kind of get it so I like it. Pretty much like that, I guess. I'm going to restrict the radius a little bit. I had it at maximum. So I'm going to res restrict the sun radius, make it a little bit smaller. Um, the sun rays, I'm going to warm up just a touch more. Um, I'm going to make them just a little longer, kind of like that kind of almost lens flare effect I'm getting down here at the bottom. And let's try a few more. So we're going to move number to the right, give them a little more. And the look is good right there. And I think the mount, I'm just going to tweak up a little. Now, I think that looks pretty good. Actually, I forgot to turn, when I reposition this, I forgot to turn it off by hitting the place sun center button again. So we have that off. So I think that looks pretty good. What you'll sometimes find is when you add the sun rays filter, it's going to darken the image a little bit. There's before and there's after. And you could, in this case, just a little bit, um, it seems to have. Um, kind of more obscured the uh, shadows in the image. If you find that, then just add another filter. Go down and add, let's say, um, under the utilities section, add a exposure filter. And then you could just tweak exposure up a little bit to better balance it out and make it look more natural. Um, you don't need that. That's, of course, purely optional. In this case, you can see how much darker it is when I don't have it there. 
And I think I like it a little, just a little brighter. So I could add that exposure filter. Now when you process the image, if you did have a raw develop filter up here at the top, you could go just to that uh, either raw develop or develop filter and increase exposure there as well. And that would work out equally uh, fine. So that's it. That's, I think, everything you need to know about the Sunrays uh, filter, which has proven to be a super popular filter in Luminar 2018. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.